welcome back. Correctional officers paid their final respects to a man who earned their admiration during his 22 years of service as an officer. Sergeant Michael Kazemi passed away on the 15th of January and was buried on Wednesday, the 27th of February. Fellow sergeant at the Waterloo Correctional Facility, Cecil Jabatis, says Sergeant Kazemi was an amiable fellow and dependable and ambitious. How sad he has left us today after he served a total of 22 years by my side. Very jovial fella. I never see this man get vexed. You can tell him whatever, crack, whatever kind of jokes with him, he'll be there, laughing, smiling. Well, we're at a loss because we're going to miss this guy. He's a guy you can depend on him for duty. Always there, as long as he's detailed. We we'll ask him to hold back. He say, of course, about this, because I don't know what's going to happen with my promotion. And he always have this in his head, and that's what he allowed to encourage him. He's the next rank, and he'll work for that. Diligent worker, a guy you can depend on. So we know every correctional officer is at a loss today. Because whenever you look left, look right, and you need assistance, this guy is there. Right? Like I said, Michael Kazemi was a giant in this. The correctional officers have extended sincere condolences to the family of their deceased colleague. Members of the public, in particular women, are being encouraged to come support the all-star female vintage Lipso show planned for the 1st of March. A powerhouse lineup of female Calypsonians will bring sweet melodies to the National Cultural Center come Friday, the 1st of March, 2019. The show is a tribute to the great contribution of women to the Calypso arena and also a tipping of the hat to the newcomers who are carrying on the legacy. Avery Manas is a member of the TOT planning committee. She says the show has been dubbed Vintage Women's Lipso. We are conducting this show in partnership with the Independence Committee and we are also, it is also part of the celebrations for International Women's Day. So we are looking to highlight the achievement of our St. Lucian women, Calypsonians, as well as looking back at 40 years of Calypso during our years of independence. We have persons like Black Pearl who has been in the Calypso arena for 30 years this year. So, and we also have Lady Lynn who's a stalwart of St. Lucian Calypso. So we are going back, taking a look at what we have achieved in the last 40 years and also recognizing what women have brought to the art, the art form of Calypso. The stellar St. Lucian lineup of female Calypsonians will be joined by regional counterpart singing Francine out of Trinidad and Tobago. The likes of, like I've said, Black Pearl, um, Lady Lynn, um, three-time Calypso monarch, Minel. We have um, the teacher's Calypso monarch, Leanne, as well as Mystique, who has created waves in her short couple of years. We have um, the likes of chocolate and uh, making a re-emergence after many, many, many years. We have Cheryl as well as Davis. So we have a cast of women that is representative of St. Lucian's Calypso. Tickets are $40, pay 50 at the door. Showtime is 8.30 p.m. Doors will open from 7.30 p.m. Have been drawn out for the rehabilitation of the castries market and systems are a go. The vice president of the vendors association says the anticipation is mounting with vendors who are looking forward to the start of phase one. The government of St. Lucia looks to inject a total of 15 million dollars into the redevelopment of the city of castries. Many eyes are looking towards the castries market and the proposed plans for the facility. Vice President of the Vendors Association, Karen Kennedy, says that an air of anticipation resides with vendors of the Castries market as they await the fulfillment of the proposal for redevelopment. I do think it's a good initiative the CCC is embarking on um, alongside the ministry. We all eagerly await the new proposal, the new proposal to be fulfilled. Because as it is at the moment, you see the jumble displayed 
that we have in this facility and sometimes the tourists are a bit claustrophobic about it and so we don't get much sales. The first phase of the project will involve the relocation of the vendors. This, Kennedy says, may fare well for the vendors in regards to attracting new clientele. Hopefully they will fix it up in such a way that when tourists come in it might be a good you know, thing for them to behold, a good site for them to behold and, and do their shopping. So we are looking forward with anticipation. We have also learned that this is not going to be the first phase of the operations that they are going to be doing. So we eagerly await what is the outcome. The Castries Market was built in 1891 and houses a myriad of local vendors selling an assortment of goods, from ground provisions to clothing and crafts. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solaj Alfred. The management of St. Lou Metals Limited and the National Workers Union signed their first industrial agreement this week. The industrial accord makes provisions for an 8% general wage increase broken down with 5% in year 1, 1.5% in year 2, and 1.5% in year 3. All workers currently below $1,000 monthly salary will be brought up to $1,000 monthly along with transportation and meal allowances, paternity leave, annual bonus, and overtime benefits. The industrial contract will run for a period of three years, with the company giving the full undertaking to have all provisions within the agreement implemented. St. Lou Metals Limited operates in Viewfort Industrial Zone and employs over 30 workers. The Department of Health and Wellness continues to receive strong support from the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust in its efforts to deliver prevention and treatment services for people with diabetes. For now, Neptune tells us more. A team from the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust recently visited St. Lucia to review the work undertaken for the Diabetic Retinopathy Program. Communications Officer of the Trust, Samantha Wood, says the visit will grant them the opportunity to meet healthcare professionals and patients to see how the program is executed. Wood believes the Diabetic Retinopathy Program will help to address the burden of diabetes in St. Lucia. It is really important that the trusts are working in St. Lucia with the Ministry of Health um, on our diabetic retinopathy initiative. Um, people don't need to go blind from having diabetes, so early intervention and screening will help this. So if people do have diabetes, make sure that you're getting your eyes checked um, so that you don't go blind from diabetes. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Sharon Belmar george expressed enthusiasm to continue working with the Trust to improve the diabetic retinopathy services on island. One of the aspects of this program is definitely communication. So they're hoping to review the program at different levels and to get feedback of implementation to date. This program is extremely um, valuable to us as prior to the funding received through the trust and also with the support of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, we were not able to do laser surgery for diabetics with eye problems within the island. Dr. Belma George also called on St. Lucians to take advantage of the diabetic retinopathy services available at the various primary health care centers. With the Ministry of Health and Wellness, we continue to urge all of our diabetics, whether you are experiencing problems with your vision or not, we are urging everybody to please come in to get your eyes screened and checked. We provide clinics on a f every Friday at the Cashries Wellness Center and presently at the Labry Wellness Center since our Viewfort Wellness Center is under um, repair. The Diabetic Retinopathy Program is managed by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and funded by the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News. Sports News with Tennyson Glasgow is up next.